Yo, what is up guys, Ultraballs back with another SPL game. Uh, this is Sun Moon OU Week 7 between Zamog and Ledna. Uh, this is one of the first games of the week. See some heat. <laughs> uh, nice Ninetales, Snorlax, uh, Aurora Veil team. But it's not like traditional Veil where, you know, it's Ninetales plus 5 sweepers. It's... It's... It's weird. It's like got Pinsir and it's got Lax, but then it's just got some standard mons. Like probably Scarf Latias with Healing Wish, Defog. Um, Scarf, or Scarf Magnezone most likely. Uh, probably Z-Move on the Lando with Z-Move Rocks would be my guess. Uh, so Ledna obviously doesn't want to stay in here. The Tyranitar is really uh, important because it could prevent the um, it could prevent the Veil from going up by changing the weather. Uh, so honestly, Zamog could probably just get up his rocks or if he's afraid or he could try and weaken the Tyranitar with Earthquake I guess. Uh, but yeah, Ledna's play was always to go into Tangrowth anyway. But uh, this is probably offensive Landorus, so I definitely think he should be scouting for Z-Fly here. So probably back into Titar uh, makes the most sense. Zamog should probably just get up his rocks. Although, like, he doesn't really want to take an HP Ice on this because health on Landorus is kind of important for the Exca Drill. Because otherwise, uh, Driller goes kind of in if it's, like, Steel Z uh, with, the, with the Sand. Uh, Ledna's team's pretty interesting. Like you don't see sand off, like sand that much in Sun Moon, just because I don't think it's particularly good. But whenever there's a Halucha, there's a way. And Lucha definitely looks like it could be threatening because like Pinsir Quick Attack. Or wait, does no? Never mind. Well, yeah, because what does Psychic Psychic Seed gives Spadef? So uh, Quick Attack from Quick Attack from Pinsir is still gonna kind of blow away Halucha. Like I don't think it'll Oko, but it's gonna do a lot because it doesn't get the. Uh, the defense raise. I know, like, when you pair it with Electric Seed, Lucha only takes uh, 50 to 60 from Quick Attack. So, yeah, I, it should still probably be able to eat one Quick Attack from full, but it's not going to appreciate it at all. <laughs> and it'll put it in range of other shit, so. Uh, or it just needs a little bit of chip for Quick Attack to kill. Yeah, rocks go up for Zamog. Uh, Ledna scouting for, uh, fly, or for Z Fly, but now he's kind of just forced to go back into the Tangrowth, I think. Uh, like I said, you need the T-Tar uh, to be able to come in on the Ninetales, so. Back into growth, yeah, on, I'm assuming just an Earthquake. And now, like, this lander is though, that that has to be Fizz Def Tang, right? It's only taking 15, that's like no damage. <laughs> I don't think that's AV. You probably don't need AV Tang growth when you have a Pex, because Pex comes into the stuff like... Uh, Ashgren, although I could definitely see this Tangrowth still having some spadef to be able to pivot into um, Top of Coco better. Misses Sleep Powder, that's unfortunate, that kind of sucks, uh, but that confirms it's not AV, like I said, it was probably Fizz Def based on that damage. Uh, so now, uh, or like Veil, T-Tar is coming out for sure, so I don't think clicking Aurora Veil makes much sense. Uh, I think you could hail if you have it, but at the same time, uh, Ledna's T-Tar is probably Mega, so even if you hail, that doesn't matter because the sand gets put back put back up when he Mega evolves. So you probably just try and put this to sleep. Uh, misses, but that's to be expected. Uh, hypnosis dodge, um, that happens a lot of the time. <laughs> so we have two, two sleep misses in a row. Uh, trying, to, trying to Hypnosis again is risky because you don't want to lose the Ninetales. Uh, but he does go for it and hits, so I guess, you know, <laughs> eventually you're going to hit one. There's the chance, too, that Ledna just tried to put up his rocks there. Because Pinsir's like a huge threat, so getting rocks up uh, against the Pinsir is important. Uh, first turn of sleep is burnt as uh, Zamog goes back into Landorus. We'll see back to Tangrowth. Earthquake. If you have Z-Fly, now's the chance to go for it. I, I would more assume that it's Z-Rock, though, for Zapdos to help Pinsir uh, if it is Z-Move. Back in the Ninetales, gets put to sleep. Uh, the Ninetales could try and wake up, or, well, not wake up, but it could just burn the turn right here. His Ledno will probably just go, I don't know, back into Tyranitar. I don't know, he doesn't even, like, or you could go Pex if you have T-Spike and try and get a T-Spike up, which would be really helpful. Uh, it would hit this, the Snorlax, and the Pinsir, since that hasn't mega yet. And even if the Ninetales is going to wake up on the next turn, Freeze Dry does, like, 30, so that doesn't even matter. So I think Pex is a potential play if you have T-Spike. If you double into Landorus on either Tyranitar or Pex, he goes Lele. Uh, yeah, Lele is a good play too because that just puts a lot of pressure on uh, on Zamog. Lele, yeah, this looks like a huge threat, especially if it's Specs. Um, but yeah, you kind of force into Magnezone here. But if it is uh, Scarf Magnezone, it's not going to appreciate this at all. The only way it's going to, yeah. But if it's 
even if it's Assault Vest Magnezone, it's not going to switch in well to potential Fight Z Lele. Uh, but he goes back to Tangrowth on Magnezone. Uh, this... <clears throat> This uh, Tangrowth is, er, is Fizz Depth though, so it doesn't appreciate Flash Cannons in the least. Uh, but at the same time, you probably don't want to stay in if you're Zamog if it doesn't kill, because an Earthquake will send you packing, and yeah, you definitely don't want that, because you need the Magnezone for Lele, 100%. Uh, and yeah, so Ledna here, he could, yeah, he's probably just going to click Knock or something, uh, if he lives a hit from the Magnezone, and then, which I'm assuming he would live a Flash, right? I mean... Like, I know Tangrowth has shit spadef without AV, but it's still got, like, a bunch of HP. I'm sure it lives one. Um, Alright, go to Pinsir on the Tyranitar double. And now, Pinsir... That play was pretty safe for Zomog. He gets a free switch to Pinsir almost every time the Tangrowth comes in. And now Ledna can't really stay in to take a potential close combat. And this is burnt one turn of sleep, so staying in isn't the play either, because, like, chances are you're not going to wake up. Uh, but Zamog, I guess, doesn't want to risk a potential, uh, doesn't want to risk him staying in on return and or Earthquake, because uh, he would live in Earthquake from there, and then potentially waking up in Stone Edging, so that makes sense. Into Landorus, uh, on the Tangrowth, he'll probably go back here into Pinsir or into, uh, Alola Tails, burn a turn to sleep there. I think Pinsir makes the most sense, yeah, Pinsir on HP Ice, and now Ledna's in a bad spot, he almost kind of loses a Mon, uh, you could just click uh, return or frust frustration here I think is pretty safe. Uh, it should kill Tangrowth from 76. I mean, I know that sounds pretty obvious, but uh, yeah, it kills. Like, Fizzdef Tang is stupid bulky. Like, I, it definitely lives on from full 100%, uh, but from 76, yeah, I doubt that thing's living. Pinsir's so strong. Alright, into Landers on the Excadrill. His Excadrill just goes for Steel Z. Uh, I don't think you have to... I think you could have SD, to be honest, if you have it. It might be spin 3 attack, though. It might not have SD. Either way, Landers is super weakened, but it's not going to be able to kill it with an Iron Head now, I doubt. So you're kind of... Oh, and Sand's gone, so Landers probably outspeeds. So Ledna should probably go... And now Tangrowth's dead. What the hell? <laughs> he doesn't have a switch into this at all. Um, yeah, I guess what Halucha on Earthquake, is that the play? Uh, that sounds like a shit play, though. Uh, yeah, he's in a, Ledna's in a pretty bad spot. This Landorus became a huge problem because he let Tangrowth die. But to be fair, he didn't really have a switch into Pinsir anyway. His play, yeah, he didn't have a good switch in at all. Explosion, oh, boom! <laughs> Here comes the boom, Halucha gone. I love to see Halucha die more than anything. I hate that stupid piece of shit, man. So, <laughs> that was like, that was free. The explosion was pretty free, though, I'd say. Because you either, like weaken the Excadrill severely and it's like no longer a threat or you kill the Halucha. Those were like the two things that were going to happen there so I like the explosion play. Goes into Lele on the Mega Pinsir. Uh, this Lele could of course be Scarf so you don't want to stay in if you're Zamog. I don't think. You should probably just go back into zone here but if Ledna is not Scarf he's going to have to switch out to something but nothing really nothing takes return into like Earthquake. So, he's in, yeah, this pincer's a huge issue. And the thing is, the Lottie probably has Healing Wish, so he could bring this back later and uh, kill some more Mons with it. So, yeah, I think Zamog's definitely in a pretty good spot here. But this play, he goes Exca, and he switches out before the pincer. So, that does confirm that it's Scarf Lele. Uh, he switched out, though, expecting the, uh, the Magnezone, which makes sense. So, now... Um, the pincer, or I'm sorry, the Excadrill is probably going to be slower than this. It's probably Scarf Zone because that's the most common set at the moment. Uh, but it can't kill you with one HP fire, so I, I think you just Earthquake here. Um, I guess Lottie could come out on an Earthquake. It'll it would eat up an um, it would eat up a Iron Head as well. But then what are you doing back to Excadrill? You don't do anything back. So I don't think Latias has the play, and I don't think you risk Pinsir. So I agree with just getting the damage off. That's fine. You Okay. Um, I don't think that was the play ever. Uh, yeah. I Like, for Zamog, staying in and getting the damage for a potential quick attack later on was definitely the play. Uh, because, yeah, like, you could switch Latias, but it doesn't even beat it 1v1. And then if you go into uh, Pinsir on a potential Iron Head, that's a choke, so... Uh, that was a nice play getting the pincer in on rocks. 
Uh, and now you kind of have to pick. I think you just click Earthquake if you have it. Uh, I doubt you'd be CC because like CC helps you break through stuff like Celestela, but you have a zone, so you don't need that. So it's probably just Earthquake. I guess it could be Edge for Zapdos, but I doubt it. It's like 99% going to be Earthquake. Uh, so Lena's almost got a pick here. He goes into Toxapex as uh, Zamog does Earthquake, and that does so much damage. Uh, now something just dies to... Or, yeah, Earthquake, you could just click Earthquake. I'm sure Lele dies too. Because uh, what is the Lele at? Yeah, 57, it would have died from that, I assume. Uh, especially with Sand Up. Now you can just sack the Pinsir. You could have saved that and Healing Wished it back, but I don't think it matters because I think you win anyway. Because yeah, you just go Zone and click Flash Cannon. Uh, you kill the Lele. The Titar couldn't switch in because uh, it's Scarf Zone. Uh, and now you'll be able to get a lot of chip off. Well, Titar is so bulky it'll live one, but I don't think that's going to matter because you just flash cannon and then go into uh, like Lottie and click. Um, or go Nine Tails, kill it with Hail. That makes sense too. Because Lottie, you'd probably have to risk hitting Draco. Not that it really matters uh, in the long run because Snorlax would eat a hit anyway and kill it. But yeah, there's the game. Um, <laughs> Snorlax 1 0 in uh, OU, in SPL OU. Unfortunately, it did not hit the field. So uh, I'd be interested. I, I would have liked to see that put in work. I'm assuming it's Belly Drum. It could also have been Curse, but I feel like with Veil, you would you prefer to have the Belly Drum, you know, like the instant power. But yeah, uh, Snorlax did a nice job cheering on his teammates from his Pokeball. And Zamog takes the win over Ledna. Uh, he played super well. P Ledna had no pincer counter, so I yeah that that shit was kind of over before the start. More people need to use that mon. That like pincer shits on every team, and it doesn't get used hardly at all. Maybe because of the rock weakness, it's like hard to build with it. But yeah, uh, so first blood for the tyrants this week. They're up 1-0. I'm assuming Axel got subbed out, and that's why um, his name's there. But yeah, Zamog did play Ledna. I'm assuming it was a sub. They just haven't updated the web page yet. Uh, but yeah, Tyrant's up 1-0 on the Sharks. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, Ultra Balls out. Peace.